Hey, God bless you guys out there on this beautiful, rainy, sunny morning. Uh, I got a prophetic dream the Lord gave me um, a couple years ago. Just a sec here. Got my coffee. Uh, what does Paul Bagley say? Grab a cup of coffee and calm down. Well, I'm I'm repeating his uh, catchphrase this morning. Hopefully he doesn't have a pet in it or something. Because coffee is darn good in the morning. Anyways, um, I had this prophetic word, sorry, prophetic dream a couple years ago, like I said. And uh, in this dream, I am at this uh, pool hall with two really close relatives, very, very close relatives, and they are both tag-teaming me in this pool game, <clears throat> and um, I don't know who's winning or what, it doesn't seem to be a winner as far as I know, and um, this is, we're playing this uh, game of pool in my hometown, and uh, for some reason, there is no pool hall where this pool hall is where we're playing in my hometown. But uh, used to be an actual dynamite plant there. I don't know if that has any significance to anything. I don't really know, but that's where it was. And so um, we're playing this game of pool, and they're tag teaming me two against one. <clears throat> and um, I look out the window, and in my hometown, there is a steam plant that produces electricity this big steam plant. And uh, you can see it from where we're playing pool. It's actually fairly close. And um, I see this steam plant is on fire. And so I said to my relatives, I said, uh, this steam plant is on fire. And they're like, what are you talking about? I said, it's gonna blow. And just as I said that, the steam plant blew sky high. I'm talking the biggest explosion um, and the shockwave just went for, I would say, 500 miles. It was huge. It just, everything the shockwave hit just e exploded. Like, everything was just destroyed. And um, after this, one the one of my relatives, I don't know what happened to the other one, but uh, one of them, I went searching for them because they were in trouble. And uh, I was okay for some reason. I went searching for them. In the rubble it was just rubble everywhere and i finally found them and i found them all dazed and confused and just totally bewildered and and frightened and i had to lead them out of there in this uh, kind of confused state that they were in and that was pretty much the whole dream and i believe this is a warning for the church today the church that runs on men's power because uh when you look at the uh, mainstream church today, it's pretty much mostly manpower. They talk about the Holy Spirit, they talk about God and Jesus Christ, but when it comes down to it, their whole reliance is on what they can do and uh, not on what God can do. It's on manpower, not on God power. And that's what this uh, that's what this steam plant represents. And the steam plant, okay, it produces electricity made by men. And uh, it it uh, per, it gives off steam. It's like hot air. It's just really nothing. It looks really amazing to men out there because of the power that it produces to give power to homes. But really, it's just men, what they can do. And what God can do is so much bigger. And yet man has capped the Holy Spirit in the church today and is focusing on only what men can do. And you come in there with the Holy Spirit, you come in there with a the message of God. You come in there with repentance. You come in there with uh, the word of God. And uh, you're going to get shut down. They're not going to allow you to speak. They're not going to allow you to do anything. In fact, most of what they're going to do is just um, belittle you and uh, gaslight you. And uh, it usually goes from the pastor on down. The pastor does his thing at the front and then the people follow in suit. And so... In my dream, though, this steam plant blew sky high. And uh, what that means is that this fake plastic church that says it's trusting in God, but really is just trusting what men could do, is going to implode. It's going to implode, and the shockwave from it is going to hit every 
fake Christian foundation. Every fake Christian foundation out there is going to be destructed. It's going to be destructed because Jesus wants a church that is full of his spirit, that is holy, and that is seeking him with their whole hearts. I'm not talking about perfection. We all need to be perfected and in love and perfected in many ways. And oh man, do I need that? Let me tell you. And I've come a long way, but I'm surely not perfect. But through Christ's blood, he sees me as perfect because his perfection lives within me, even though I am not perfect. And yet that is not an excuse to continue to do whatever you want and not grow and not put to death the things that need to die. And that's what this mainstream church is doing today. And that's why his power has to be seen. And this manpower church needs to go down because the spirit of God needs to be seen throughout this earth. It has to shine brighter. As the darkness gets darker, darker, the brightness of the spirit of God is going to shine brighter for the whole world to see. And those who would never come to Jesus are going to come to his light as things get messy in this world. Things get really messy, really scary, really crazy out on this earth. Jesus is going to do amazing, miraculous things in the midst of all that. Because when you look at the Bible, it wasn't all roses and peaches, okay? But God did the most amazing miracles in the midst of the darkness. And that's what he's going to do. That's what this dream is leading up to. And that's why this person, my relative, was so confused after this steam plant blew up. Because this person was trusting in what the church can do in manpower. And when the manpower went down the tubes and they thought they had it all, you know, in control, they realized none of that is in, in their control. They're actually not in control at all. And actually God is in control and he's revamping or restructuring their foundation so that they can be built back on Christ to stop this desert foundation that Satan is building in his church today. So that's the prophetic dream I had, and that's the message that God gave me to give out this Sunday morning. God bless you guys.